Mike's underscore XP underscore computer. Hit next. And here's where we're going to set our time and our date. The date is current. Uh, the time for me is not Pacific time. I'm on Eastern time. And um, most of you watching this video are probably on Eastern time as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on that. Hit next. Now it's installing the networking components. This is of course so that you can get online. Even though those components are already installed in your Windows 7, it needs to be reinstalled into the XP mode. And what do you know? Familiar site, Windows XP. And we'll go ahead. This is for the automatic updates, and we'll tell it. I like to set it for download updates for me, but let me choose when to install them. This way, it doesn't install them and then want to restart when I'm doing something that I don't want it to restart. Another thing is that it gives me the option to uh, look and see exactly what it is that it's installing. So we'll hit apply there. Click OK. Now it's evidently found some uh, new hardware. Not real sure what that is. So I'll have to go into the system and see. This is another thing that uh, the antivirus, uh, of course, is not installed. And we'll go over uh, in a later film how to install your antivirus on this. On this hardware wizard, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of it so um, I can see exactly what it is that's missing. And it may even be something that's in those, those tools. So we're up and running now in, in Windows XP. Uh, I'm keeping the screen small so that uh, you can see it. Um, I'm going to go to the start and go over here to the control panel so that we can take a look at our system and see what, uh, what devices it is that it found that it's missing. I like to use the classic view. We'll go to system and then device manager. And as you can see here, it shows the, the CPU and the 256 megabytes of RAM that we've appropriated. Also shows Windows XP um, version 2003 with Service Pack 3 already installed, which is really cool. It seems to be running a little slow to me, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bump the uh, RAM up to uh, 512 on it. Okay, so we need to install our VGA, uh, which is our display. 
drivers and a base system device. That particular device is um, actually a, um, a card reader that I have on my laptop uh, for reading uh, flashcards. I'm not going to be too concerned about that. I'm not going to worry about that. But I will go ahead and install the, uh, the display drivers because naturally that way I'll get a, a little bit better display. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and make this full size.